What if I told you that all of this meant nothing? What's up guys? It's a brand new day and we're gonna enjoy it in a natty way. It's wonderful looking outside. We're gonna go to the gym. I've got the day off and I need to do some squats. But realize I am out of everything pre-workout related. Like, well not entirely pre-workout related, but I am out of all forms of pre-workout in my kitchen. I forgot to close this cabinet. So what I have here, what I'm gonna do in order to get pumped up is I listen to some DBZ motivation. Got me here, a little mixture, some Extend Aminos, just for flavor, cause otherwise this would taste disgusting. And then I've got some creatine in here, some flavorless creatine and some beta alanine, about half a teaspoon of beta alanine and a little more, just a little more. Don't wanna go too crazy with beta alanine, you will get sick. I've got some CLA, vitamin D, D3, 2000 units. Uh, Make sure you know what your vitamin, like don't, you can't, you can get too much vitamin D, so be careful about your vitamin D intake. I just take a little bit because sometimes I don't get in the sun with working inside all the time. I got some trichromium. This is important. B12, super B complex. Gotta have those B vitamins for some natural energy. Biotin for skin, hair, and nails, just because. And that's B7, so I'm getting a little bit of that in because I haven't in a while. And then I'm gonna hit the gym. Let's go. Yo, pretty good gym sesh today. It's amazingly bright outside and wonderful. The weather feels great. It's like when you get that warm weather in the spring on your skin and like you can feel it like heat up your bones and everything, like I feel like connected to the earth. Like everything else is green and lush and growing and I feel like I just, I pull like some sort of natural energy from like the life around me. Um, like the trees and the bushes and everything. Like it just like in the air, it just feels electrifying. And I, I don't know how to explain it. Like. Running in the summer is so much more energizing than trying to run in the winter. And probably be because it's warm, but I don't know. I just, I like to think that the earth, you know, being connected to the earth is awesome, but I try not to film all of my lists because I feel like they'd be repetitive, boring, too much to watch. And honestly, uh, it would take too long. I did do some really fun curls today, some barbell curls. Did overhead tricep extensions, not, anything else behind my head and what else did I do today I didn't film I think I got everything besides those just didn't do the arms not really that exciting I guess everyone does arms some people only do arms can you imagine a life that boring at least do legs if you could pick one lift to do for the rest of your life let me know what it is down in the comments below again if you're new to this channel and you like it hit like and smash the subscribe button so you can see more. I got a lot of cool things going on, just a lot of different stuff. I'm always doing new things besides fitness, men's health, uh, mental stuff, hobbies, everything, you name it, just natural lifestyle. But if I could do one lift for the rest of my life, if I, I could only do one lift for the rest of my life, it'd be deadlifts. Let me know what yours is in the comments down below. We're gonna go jam with Zach. All right, Zach's was fun. Had some good jam time. Didn't really record, it was more into just actually jamming and having fun than recording. But um, we're gonna go disc golfing here soon, so you will get to see some of that.
right guys, back from disc golfing. It was fun, but now to clarify the original statement that what if I told you all protein shakes were unnecessary and didn't mean anything. So let's start with the myth, okay? The anabolic window myth. And let me tell you why it's bogus. There is no conclusive evidence that ingesting sugary carbs and protein right after your workout actually helps you. It does not further protein synthesis. In fact, protein synthesis happens throughout the day. It happens when you sleep. There's, it doesn't, there's not just like some magical thing that like you work out and it creates this like gateway portal for your muscles to get enhanced with nutrition. Second myth is that you can only consume 30 grams of protein in a meal. I don't know what the time limit for this myth is, but like that's like saying if I went down to Olive Garden and crushed 150 breadsticks and only three of them count because I can only ingest, I can only absorb so many carbohydrates per meal. You would be like, Team Maddie, you're ridiculously crazy because everyone knows you would absorb all those carbs and all those calories. And the same is true for protein. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know how that relates to this. I just like that little fact because I feel like a lot of people are misinformed. Like if you approach someone on the street and told them they could only absorb 30 grams of protein, more often than not, they would probably believe you because there's such a lack of education on nutrition. But protein, the majority of it should come from your diet. Lean meats, beef, chicken, turkey, lean beef that is, bison, things like that, of that nature. If you're a vegan or vegetarian, try pea plant protein, tofu, soy, what have you. There are many ways to get protein in your diet, much more beneficial ways and nutritional ways than just slamming down a scoop of protein. Now, I know what you're thinking, but like, isn't it like super fast absorbing or super slow absorbing depending on the kind of protein? Well, like you could eat things like cottage cheese and have slow absorbing protein. Now, if you want a quicker absorbing protein from a food, you do something like egg whites or meat. So going through, you, you want to get the majority of your protein from meals. This is what's known as a supplement because it supplements your diet. Now, supplements should only be like maybe 10%, maybe of your diet, just to give you that extra little push, that extra little boost. Say you really want to get to a certain macro of protein and no matter how much you eat, it's just really difficult to get to that number. Well, this will help you get there, okay? Or say you're like me, or maybe you work out and you don't have the time to get in a meal, you can always use this to help supplement your diet so that you get that protein and you get some food in you or some source of calories at least. If it's really hard for you to get protein in, there's nothing wrong with having a scoop of protein to just boost your macro just a little bit more. Sometimes I like to take a scoop right after the gym because I get really hungry and then taking a scoop of this fills my stomach with water and a good dose of protein so I'm close to my macro and then I don't feel so inclined to just smash a bunch of unnecessary snacks and food right after I just had a good lift. So protein, it's not useless whey protein that is, whey protein, you do need protein. Protein is absolutely necessary. It is made up of amino acids which are essential for many processes that go on throughout the body and it helps your hair, your skin, your nails, your muscles. It's not just for your muscles, it's for overall health. Whey protein, however, absolutely not necessary, although not useless either. So I don't want you guys thinking that I'm telling you to throw out your whey protein. I'm just saying you don't need it. You don't need to take three or four scoops a day and one right after every workout. So I um, hope this is educational for you guys. And I just want you to know that I was a noob too, and I believe certain things about the gym, but um, just keep powering through, guys. I'm just trying to help you out. So take it easy. Stay natty. Team Natty, y'all.